In this video, we're going to look at the maxifs and minifs functions. So we've got a range of data here. It's just from a fictional IT store that sells secondhand equipment. So we've got keyboards, laptops, and monitors, and then they've got a different condition of excellent, good, or poor, and then their prices are here in column C. So let's say we want to return the maximum price of a laptop that's in excellent condition. So we can do that with a maxifs function. So equals maxifs, press tab, now the max range, this is simply the numerical values. So we're going to select the cells in column C. Criteria range one, we'll select the cells with the product in. And then criteria one, we're going to specify laptop. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase, it's, uh, it works in a case insensitive way. And then criteria range two, we're going to specify condition. So these cells here. And then for the actual criteria two, we're going to specify the condition that we're interested in, which is excellent. And then hit enter. And then what we see here is we get 860 returns. So how this function has worked is it's looked down these cells here. It's identified laptop and then it's gone across and found excellent. And then it's found these three values here, 430, 860, 320. And it's returned the maximum one because we've done a max if function of 860. Now, if we were to change this to a minif function, and we'll just keep the same criteria conditions in place. Um, so we'll just replace max with min and see what happens. It simply just re replaces that 860 value with 320 because it's done the same process except it's returning the minimum one there. So that's just a quick example of how the max ifs functions and minif functions work. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.